Let's talk about that, Barb. What are some of the myths of owning your own company? Let's say I don't own one right now. Some, some people own their own brokerages and they're like, they loathe it. It's not fun, but you love yours. I do. Well, yeah. the first time I went to a Craig Proctor conference, I knew I wanted to start my own company, but being a, like you said, a local business owner, I used a family name. My maiden name is Parker. My last name is Schlinker, which I didn't want to name it Parker Schlinker. So I named it Parker <laughs> St. Clair, which was some kind of historical iteration of Schlinker, I guess, according to my father-in-law, including running from the law. <laughs> but um, what was interesting, after I saw Todd for the first time talk about your home sold guaranteed, I'm like, this is a no-brainer. That was before they built the built to sell playbook. That was well before. So now it is so plug and play. There's a check, 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 checklist and they guide you through the process. So it's not, I don't think it's difficult to own your own brokerage. To me, it wasn't any more different. I, originally I started my brokerage because I didn't want a broker telling me I couldn't do the guaranteed sale. That was the, the biggest reason why I did it back then. And when I came back and asked my team, okay, so I'm gonna change to your home sold guaranteed realty. I got some pushback from my brother, of course, because he wants the company named after his last name. But um, the, one thing that they said to me that really surprised me was that when people call in to have Barb come list me, when they answered the phone, Parker St. Clair, it, it, they were like, is this, is this the office? Is this a real estate office? It didn't mean anything to them. But your home sold guaranteed realty does. Mm -hmm. it, it's, we're, we're specialist and it's designed to set it up the right way where all you have to do is check off the box, go through the process, and you're off and running. It's not really that difficult um, as far as being your own broker, in my view, the only thing that is a pain point, which you have to have a high C help you with that, is compliance, because um, I'm not wired for high C stuff. But other than that, but we can also do checklists with that. So CSU can do that. Uh, SkySlope integrates with CSU. Um, because I learned years ago when I had Parker St. Clair and I had all this lead generation and I was doing everything wrong, like uh, doing uh, uh, lead rotation for leads, and then uh, let the agents call their own leads. I, I, I screwed everything up, just so you know. They stole business from me. Uh, they signed up for a sync site and left and took about $100,000 of business. Then they sued me, which was two and a half years of not fun. Um, but one thing I did was went over the compliance stuff. I'm like, I have to make sure my files are right because they're gone. I audited all of these files. We were using Dropbox. Only one passed, one out of hundreds. And I'm like, that is not good. We need systems. But I survived. I learned a lot. Um, and now I love the whole core values of what this business has to offer. Uh, I, you know, that you're focused on getting people that match your core values of second mile service. And, you know, when you, when you bring all that in, you won't have those problems. 